Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. Today is Sunday. We are starting off with marinating some chicken wings. I am using this rotisserie chicken seasoning and then um, I canned back in October, I canned uh, cowboy candy and this is this was extra juice and this is delicious. So I'm gonna marinate these wings with that and then I have pork chops that I'm gonna get ready and we're probably gonna throw these on the grills with some zucchini. We have lots of zucchini from my mom's garden and we'll get those started, uh, putting them with some salt and seasoning. But this is so, so good. This is like liquid gold. So let's get this started. All right, here's the zucchini. They're all sliced up. My husband sliced them up. Uh, these are all organic, grown in my mom's uh, garden with no chemicals, except uh, the fertilizer, the natural fertilizer she has from her animals and water. So I put a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and we're just gonna cover these. Um, and then we're just going to let them, if they release any water, just let the water drain out. And the pork chops I have washing right now, and I'm going to add the pork rub and a little bit of salt and pepper and put those in the fridge. So that's going to be great. And I'm thinking for a side, I'm going to make uh, cheesy scalloped potatoes and I'm going to make two pans. So that's going to be a, a total of six boxes because in my pans, three boxes goes in one. So six boxes out of my pantry, off of the shelf, and that's a lot of boxes, which is great. And we'll also put milk and butter and whatever else it calls for with those. So that's gonna be out of the fridge. I'm super excited to go through everything. I have so much frozen butter, it's unbelievable. So I definitely, definitely need to go through it. And that's our meal prep for today so far. I'm so excited about the zucchini grill. Zucchini is so delicious. When we grill them, I'm going to make um, a little bit of mixture of just a little bit of olive oil and maybe some Parmesan cheese. And he, well, actually, no, I'm not going to put the cheese, just the olive oil. And then he's we're going to put it on with a little brush and then grill them. And then once they're done cooking, we'll add some Parmesan cheese. That's how my kids like them. And okay, guys, so here is the barbecue. The wings turned out a little bit darker, which I'm not surprised because there was honey in the marinade. So that made it a little bit darker, which is still gonna be so delicious. There's the pork chops. I just put a little salt, pepper, and that pork rub. And then the zucchini, we are just brushing with a little bit of olive oil as we are cooking them. And Lucas is here helping his dad out. Say hi. Hi. And then um, my husband's obviously, um, you know, looking and making sure everything is turning out good. Now it's playing, the two older kids are coming home from church and they told me that they are starving. What's there to eat? And I said, there's plenty to eat. I have two of the potatoes, scalloped potatoes in the oven going. Look at those beautiful grill marks on the zucchini. They're gonna be absolutely delicious. We're gonna hit them with a little Parmesan cheese and they're gonna be so I have good. these two taco salads that need to be used up. So I'm gonna make these up quickly. I just turned off the oven. I'm gonna take out the scalloped potatoes and let them cool down before we dig in. Here's the beautiful meat and the grilled zucchini. No one, let me see your zucchini. He's already gotten into one. How is it? Really good. Is it really good? Yeah, so uh, we're just finishing, Lucas is finishing grilling the zucchinis and we're gonna dig in soon. All right, here are the beautiful zucchinis with a little bit of parm. Here are the potatoes. I hit them with just a little bit of uh, dried um, parsley flakes at the end, our beautiful meat and our salad. This is gonna be a delicious lunch slash dinner for Sunday. We're gonna be eating on it for both meals. And that's why I wanted to make two of the pans of potatoes because I feel like one's gonna be gone. I'll show you guys, lunch. my daughter made a huge pot of spaghettis before it's all gone. I figured, let me show you guys. That's what we're having. She used the meat and marinara sauce that was already prepped in the freezer. So all she had to do was boil the noodles and put it all together. I think she added another jar of marinara sauce because it was kind of thick. So that's what they had. And I'll show you guys what we have later on in the video. So it is Tuesday morning and I should have thought this out last night, but I didn't. We are gonna have Hawaiian chicken, just the ones we meal prepped the other day. I'm gonna put in the crock pot. I'm just gonna let it thaw out a little bit so that I can kind of break it up and just throw it in there frozen. And that's what we're gonna have with some rice underneath and it's gonna be really good. You guys, I just realized I didn't even show you the end product of the Hawaiian chicken with rice, but let me reassure you, it was absolutely delicious. We've been deep cleaning and decluttering, and so it was a crazy day to yesterday. Today is gonna be crazy as well, so I needed something simple. I went in my freezer last night, and I saw I have these Italian-style 
meatballs from Costco. Obviously, I'm not going to use all of them, but I'm going to use some. This is a brand new bag. Um, I have these buns that need to be used up, a marinara sauce, and then I have a little bit of basil that I'm going to put in my crock pot, and I'm going to make Italian meatball subs. We have lots of cheese in the fridge. We're going to pop those under the broiler. We're, so basically, we're going to cook these up or heat them through with the sauce and the basil in the crock pot. Then we're going to put them on these buns, put cheese, and toast them up, and they're going to be so, so good. I just wanted a quick, easy meal for today, and that is exactly what we're going to have because we are just decluttering, decluttering, decluttering. So, yeah. Uh, this big bag of meatballs, you get 140 meatballs at Costco for under $20, so it's not a bad price, and they are pretty tasty. All right, you guys, so here is what my son, my 18-year-old, very active son, is eating for breakfast, well, kind of brunch. Uh, today, he made a uh, toast out of croissants, pesto, eggs, chicken sliders, it looks like, with cheese. And his goal is to pack as much protein as possible because he's working out a lot and he's trying to gain muscle. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. You guys don't see everything that we consume in this house. And there's a lot of food that gets consumed. Okay, guys. So um, this is Emma. I'm just showing y'all what I'm eating for breakfast. So all the ingredients are Costco. Um, we just have bread, pesto, basil pesto, uh, tomatoes, and some mozzarella. Cut it in half to make it easier, but yeah, this is my breakfast. All right, so I put the big, thick mozzarella from Costco on there, and I put them in the air fryer four minutes at 400 degrees, and that's what the subs look like, and we will see you guys. Hi, everyone. It is Thursday, and I thought out a bag of homemade hamburgers. We're just doing them in the air fryer. I only have a little bit of hamburger buns, but... Don't worry, I have English muffins in the freezer, so we're gonna use those as buns. And then over here, I had leftover uh, rotisserie chicken from Costco. So I just sauteed it with some onions, and then I put a can of fried roasted diced tomatoes and some eggs, parsley, salt, and pepper, garlic powder, and this is gonna be, part of it is gonna be lunch for my husband for work tomorrow, and then part of it is gonna be whoever else wants it. When the kids come home, they can have burgers or this. And that way we're not throwing anything away and just using it all up. But that's what's going on so far. And I'm not sure what we're making tomorrow. I have no plans. It's going to be super hot again. And I don't want to be in the kitchen. It's Friday. And for lunch, David made tacos. And then I also have pizza dough going in the bread maker. And he also made rice. And that's what we're going to make is homemade pizzas with uh, for dinner and then tacos for lunch. All right, change of plans. We are going to make kind of like elephant ear. This was the pizza dough. I didn't use the pizza dough recipe. I just did the white bread recipe and it's just so versatile and it's such a beautiful dough. Um, so we're just gonna do kind of elephant ears, but instead of making them huge, we're gonna cut them with the glass, make them round little puffed up, um, kind of like donuts. So that's what we're gonna do with this. I have the oil, vegetable oil going. We're gonna cut these up. Emma's gonna help me. You gotta dip it in the flour first, the mug. And then um, let me roll it out just a little bit more. And then we're gonna dip it in hot, when it's hot, when it comes out, we're gonna put it in cinnamon sugar. And it's gonna be so, so good. All right, here it is. I opened up a little jar of my pear jam that I made back in October. Homemade pear jam. It has beautiful, delicious slices of pears through it. And it's so, so good. We're gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna enjoy this with a big cup of coffee. You guys, it's pretty funny. I thought I was gonna get away with not making pizza tonight, but that's not gonna happen. They pretty much ate all the taco. There's a little bit left and just a little bit of rice. So I made dough. I made two pounds. I have one in the oven already, and this is such a beautiful dough. I don't use the pizza dough recipe. I use the white bread recipe with, it's got like powdered milk and stuff. It's just a really nice, easy dough to work with. I'm gonna make one with the pesto, tomato, and fresh mozzarella. And then I'm gonna do pepperoni. So I do a two pound loaf of dough at a time. My machine does that. And so I get two pizzas out of that. So a pound of pizza. And then I just put another set because my kids have been at the park. They're gonna be there for a couple hours. So uh, I'm gonna get these two pizzas in the oven for my husband and my daughter. And, you know, for leftovers for whoever else will come. But by the time they get home, the other dough will be done. It takes an hour and a half to for it to, like, proof and be ready to be used. And I'll show you guys when they come out. So I'm going to do two pepperonis and two 
um, pesto. I want to tell you guys something. This tomato is from my mom's garden. Oh my God, it's so good. It is so, so good. I almost didn't want to put it on the pizza because it's so good to just eat it with nothing, just like raw, like an apple. But I don't have anything else, so I have to use it. And then I want to show you guys, I went to Ross today and found this beautiful bottle of extra virgin olive oil. I don't know where it's from. I don't know if it's like a specialty olive oil. This was $13.99. It is a liter and a half. I wonder if it's cheaper than Costco because the prices of oil is just going through the roof. So my oven is uh, baking. I just leave it for about five minutes in the oven, 500 degrees, part bake it, and then I'm gonna put all this delicious yumminess on it and pop it back in the oven. You guys, it never fails. This smells incredible. So I hit it with a little bit of fresh basil and a little bit of aged balsamic vinegar. I don't have the glaze, I didn't make it, but I just hit it with that. It smells absolutely fantastic. I have a pepperoni and cheese going, which should be done any minute, but this is beautiful. You can see the crust is a little bit thicker and that's why I like pre-bake it a little bit. That way it's all cooked and nothing is burned on top. Okay, here's the pepperoni. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's very crunchy, but still like soft Ooh, and very hot. Anyway, uh, here's the pepperoni and then my dough, my second dough is going, which will give us two more pizzas. It just smells incredible. It's gonna be- Okay, ready. so for my other dough, I'm not gonna do pizzas. We are full, we all ate, it was delicious. We have two slices left over. What I am doing is I have some mozzarella and I have some feta with some egg. I'm gonna make like little um, things, rounds, balls filled with cheese and brush it with the egg on top and bake them and I think it'll be great. So this is what it looks like. I just did the egg wash and I put a little bit of the Himalayan flake salt on top and I'm gonna pop them in the oven at 400 degrees till they're golden brown and they are just filled with cheese mixture and egg and then i have a little bit of dough left so i'll need to make a little bit more and it's gonna so be these were in the oven at 400 degrees for about 35 minutes and some of them exploded their goodness with cheese and all the egg and everything and that is totally fine you can see the beautiful salt on top and you can see the cheese trying to escape oh my gosh you guys it smells delicious so i'm probably just gonna let these cool overnight on my counter because it is 9.31 at night. So um, these will be a great delicious um, breakfast. If you have some tomatoes to slice up next to it or some cucumbers, something fresh, super good. Noah, do you want one? Yeah. Noah wants one. Okay, you can have one tonight. I'm not having one tonight, but whoever wants some can have some. They are piping hot right now, but um, we're just gonna let them cool. I'm actually gonna take them off of this and put them on a wire rack so that way they don't the bottom doesn't get soggy because they have this beautiful bottom because I cooked them on my pizza stone and yes we will see you guys you guys me. dinner is being served by my daughter Emma she just made this plate for my husband she did air fryer wings potatoes in the oven with um, garlic powder salt pepper what else did you put onion powder and what and paprika it looks like and then she just put some Parmesan cheese at the end. And then these are some kind of bagged salads that she whipped up. We also have baked potatoes going in the oven. And then we also have some homemade burgers that we're gonna do in the air fryer for whoever wants. Emma, dinner looks delicious. Look how nice they turned out. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week of what's for dinner. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite dinner that you had this week or your favorite meal. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.